Hey there, kiddos. It is Mr. King, and I'm here with a uh, art lesson. I had to be out today, so this is one for you uh, in the classroom. I hope you guys like some of the decorations up around the class because it is that spooky time of year. Uh, so let's do a spooky little art project, one where you just get to draw. So all you're going to need for this is the art materials at your desk, uh, meaning your markers and your, uh, if you want to use the gel pens that are out there, that's absolutely fine. If you want to use uh, crayons, whatever you, you want to grab at, okay? So uh, this piece is going to be us imagining a little bit about our own monsters that we're going to create. What I want to do is actually want to read to you a poem by Shel Silverstein, one of my favorites as a kid. This uh, poem is entitled The Worst. When singing songs of scariness, of bloodiness, and hairiness, I feel obligated at this moment to remind you of the most ferocious beast of all. 3,000 pounds and nine feet tall, the glurpy, slurpy, scrucker-grawl. Who's standing right behind you? So this is a really goofy, over-the-top story, you can tell, and I'm hoping nobody actually thought there was a monster behind you. Don't worry, there's not. Uh, but really, you can see this is a, a drawing right here of what Shel Silverstein imagined this giant, glurpy, slurpy, awful monster looking like. But when I close my eyes, that's not exactly what I saw. So what I want to do is let's get back to a blank screen here, and I'm going to draw directly on the screen, just do a little doodle here. Uh, and what I want to do is I actually, whoops, uh, let me make sure I can actually be on that part. Um, I want to draw a little with you and just kind of doodle what we're going to make. So if you're making a glurpy, slurpy monster, uh, maybe you start out with a big curved line because it's 3,000 pounds and 9 feet tall. But if I'm thinking glurpy, slurpy, I'm going to do kind of a wavy line here. Okay, a big blobby monster, okay? And then from there, I'm going to start building some of the other stuff. So it's glurpy and slurpy. So does he have feet? Is it like a centipede or something like that? I don't know. Glurpy, slurpy to me. It feels like a giant slug. So I'm going to do just a curved line at the bottom here. And then maybe I'm going to do another line over here. I'm going to add this goopy slime coming out the end right there. And I'm going to kind of draw that gooping around to one side there. So there's my glurpy, slurpy, slug-like monster. And because it's glurpy and slurpy, we're going to give him some, uh, some eyes coming out here, kind of like a snail might have. But instead of two, let's go with three. I don't know why. Yeah, three just feels a little bit more spooky that way. So I'm going to do these kind of little antenna eyes right there. And then maybe I draw a little half circle inside of them to be where the eyeball is. And then I'm just going to add, you know, a pupil in there. Beep. In each one of those. And, you know, he's got to be mean, right? So let's get some mean eyebrows on this guy. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just add some mean eyebrows, yep. Okay, so we got mean eyebrows. We got nice little eyes right there. So what are we going to do about the mouth? Glurpy, slurpy, scrock, 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 And he's right behind you. He's got to be mean, right? So let's go with a really big, weird-looking mouth. It's kind of got to wave like his body a little bit, okay? I'm going to do a big curve line at the bottom here. And then let's go with a weird tongue you know, bouncing across the entire bottom. And then we got to get some nasty looking teeth. Big jagged teeth right there. So you can see how this just starts to come together pretty easily. And so now it's going to be a lot of fun with details. So maybe I want to make some like drool hanging from his mouth because he's glurpy and slurpy, right? We did that with the slime down at the bottom. But why not have some like little bits of glurpy, slurpy drool coming down out of his mouth here? Blah. Gross, right? Uh, so we can do all kinds of really cool things like that. You might want to add some nostril holes onto him. Make him extra kind of weird looking. You can add some warts coming off of him. Kind of like a giant slimy snail toad combination. I don't know, he doesn't have any way to grab you right now, right? So maybe, what would he have? Maybe some tentacle arms. Okay. You could do just two, or you could do like an octopus, and you could put like eight of them. You could do all kinds of cool stuff like that. But for this one, uh, I'll stick with two. And you know, cool little detail I like to do, if you make a tentacle, if you want to make it look a little more realistic in 3D, just go to the very tip of the tentacle and add one more line coming down that gets wide at the bottom. 
and it looks like kind of that thickness part of the tentacle coming down. It just looks a little more realistic in my mind. So I think this guy looks pretty gross and disgusting and fantastic. This feels like the Scrucker Roll, for, for at least in my imagination. So then you'd spend some time coloring him in. I don't know if this uh, little color drop here... Whoop! Yep, see, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. So, you know, I could actually spend my time the hard way coloring this in, getting the mouth darker on the inside. Uh, but you guys have markers. You've got crayons. You've got all kinds of good stuff. So you can get in there. One really cool thing I want to point out is that um, those gel pens... I honestly would not use those to color stuff in. It's just going to take you forever to color something in with those because they make a really, really fine mark. What the, the gel pens do really well is um, they actually let you draw on top of the marker. So if you wanted to do something like with the eyeballs, like if you wanted to do a little shine on the pupils and the eyeballs, well, then you could use your pen to do just that. and It would go right on top of the dark marker. Or if you wanted to draw some drool after the fact in the mouth, yeah, that'd be great for that. Okay? So, really, I just want you guys to do as much as possible to make your scariest scrock raw. Uh, and honestly, if you want to leave those behind for me, feel free. I would love to see a collection of scrock rolls. But if you also want to bring those home today, that's absolutely fine just as well. What I want you to pay attention to for this is the feeling of that monster. It's glurpy and slurpy. Well, what does that mean? What would that feel like? Would it be slimy? Would it be slick? Would it be kind of squishy? Uh, would it feel like the, the scales on a fish or a snake? I, I really don't know. I don't know what glurpy slurpy means. Uh, but I bet you do in your own mind. So make your monster. Have some fun with it. I'll see you guys next week. And uh, I'll definitely be looking forward to seeing these scrubber girls. All right? So have a good time. Be very good for the substitute because I'm going to be looking to see which classes were the very best. And if you were the best class, I will have a reward for you. I promise you that. All right, guys. So sorry I couldn't be there today. I wish I could. Uh, I miss you all. All right. Bye-bye.